you really, really want to focus on stay or uh, as a hunter, you want to stay on the high ground as much as possible and go from one high ground pillar to another, um, and that's the best way to avoid a lot of, uh, of damage from Goliath. Uh, whereas if you're on the low ground or you get cornered into a wall, uh, Goliath is just going to smack you off and you're going to die a slow and painful, horrible death. And that is never a fun time for anybody involved. Okay, so this feeding route. Let's go ahead and open up the map. Uh, going more uh, towards the uh, bottom left, me, I usually kind of scoop out this little area here on the map and then come up here. Because that way, if I'm down here, by the time they track, they might think I'm over here. And then I quickly swap over here and then go up. Uh, but now if they track, they know they go right here. And this is where you do not want the hunters to be. Uh, because you can't really get past good hunters that are observant on this area. Uh, the scanner has not been used, uh, and so they're just going in the direction. It does look like the monster's going to go up to the cave uh, well before uh, the hunters can get there in time. Not a bad feeding route in general. Um, so, yeah, so feeding route's pretty good. Uh, I'll try and pay attention a little bit more. Hunters are not splitting, and it doesn't look like they've used the scanner yet. So we'll see what they're going to do. Uh, normally when you want to cut someone off you have to cut off you have two people cut off hard right and two people cut off hard left But it doesn't seem like that is the case right now And 130 in so off brand has a really good feeding route He's actually going to be evolved ready pretty close to the 1 minute 40 mark Which is actually a really solid time that you want to be around Okay, so stage two without any incident. Pancake Man, welcome to the herd. Uh, good, uh, interesting that he took two and fire breath at stage one. I'm not sure why that is. Uh, you generally don't need more than one point for farming, and having two is risky because if it's not a good deployable team, it's kind of a waste of a skill point in my opinion. Uh, so, inter interesting skill build. Monster did get scanned finally. Looks like that they're coming here. Monster about to throw a rock. Going to hit Tech Sergeant Hank. There's the fire breath. Hit Tech Sergeant Hank. I like that they didn't immediately dome the monster. I like that. It's very important you don't just throw the dome just because you can. You always want to throw it when because the monster is engaging you for a reason. That you always want to hold on to it after the monster is running away. Nice rock throw dodge by Portado. Blitz Markov doing a good amount of damage. I like that they're still holding. Uh, now they can throw the dome because the monster is running away. But it does look like the monster and there is the dome. Uh, very good dome for the mo the hunters actually. Uh, there's quite a few uh, high ground areas. Uh, so if we go ahead and observe. Let's go ahead and observe from these salts. So you can go up here, up here, up here, and that's generally what you want to do, is you want to basically kind of avo avoid the low ground. All these hunters should have immediately been on the high ground. There's never a reason to be on the low ground, ever. There we go. Monster going straight after Val here. Uh, the orbital, unfortunately, isn't going to do anything. Medic needs to head back to the orbital, um, or the orbital's not going to be able to punish the monster at all. Uh, and again, monster is going to be able to trash you very, very easily uh, because you're on the low ground. Uh, as soon as you engage the hunter or the gauge against the Goliath, you take the high ground. There's very few monsters. I think Kraken's pretty much the only one you want to be on the low ground, and that's regular Kraken, not Elder Kraken. Um, and there he goes. Medic is going to get down. No permanent health damage just yet, but the armor just got stripped. So here we go. So once Blitz Markov gets his chain going, uh, get a little bit of permanent health damage, but really, really bad placements. Uh, nice that the monster can't go inside the, the, the house, I guess is what I'm going to call it. And there we go. Assault. Going to charge. Do damage. Nope, staying away. Because he has no medic. Medic coming down in a few seconds. It's actually a good time to go ahead and engage. Uh, the Harpoon by Griffin. And they did about one bar of health. Not terrible. Um, but definitely, definitely in the monster's favor here. By the way, Damon, welcome to the herd. I appreciate the follow. I apologize for not mentioning that earlier. Same thing with your 
You're not Nora. Welcome to the herd. Uh, so yeah, and that's a good example of where bad placement for hunters uh, can be. So we'll see how the team war starts getting um, more organized. And what we're going to do is... Uh, is uh, let them know about the high ground and see if that makes a difference the next game. Because uh, right now the monster has a huge commanding lead. Almost halfway to stage three. One strike on Val. One bar of health gone from Goliath. Uh, monster at a very good lead right now. So monster is trying to be sneaky here. About to hit somebody in the face with the rock. And there we go, using up a lot of... And that's why you always want to make sure you have a little bit of energy. And the monster is just going to run by... And that's why you should be very careful. If you're convinced that the monster's in an area, again, the, the, the time is on the hunters. The monster will either come to you or he won't. If he doesn't, he just draws out the game and he'll put more pressure on him because of time issues later on. are going to get the melee attack slow hunters and this should be enough to go ahead and evolve him to stage three now if i were him i usually do not go to stage three unless i absolutely have to uh this team is not terrible because it's only blitz markov is the only deployable but if there's ever two people on the team that have deployables like a bucket maggie a markov bucket a maggie bucket you know all that kind of stuff uh, generally speaking, stage 3 really, really hurts the monster. Uh, so the hunters are trying to keep up here. They do throw a dome. The best place to engage the hunt monster will be on this side. Uh, if anyone comes over here, the monster is going to be able to possibly tumble them over here. Break line of sight. That's going to hurt healing. And let's see what the hunters do. The monster has full energy. Uh, armor, I should say. Uh, so there's absolutely no reason for them to engage yet. I like that they're holding back. But just be very careful. You want to put the, the mines... Um, they're not bad up there. Um, they'll usually get flame breath, um, but that's okay. And there we go. Here comes the engagement. Uh, Medic got immediately knocked down back to the low ground. Went back to the high ground. Watch out for the rock throw. Rock throw is going to connect. And then once again, on the low ground, you need to get up. Go from one high ground to the other. That's how you're going to avoid. Um, otherwise, you're just going to get perpetually tumbled, and she is going to go down now. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the medic never got back up on the high ground. Uh, and that's super, super important against the Goliath. You absolutely have to have the high ground. Uh, you can't fight the monster, because uh, he has to use a traversal or climb up, and by then that gives you enough time to avoid things. But if you're on the ground, you can get leap smash. If you're on the high ground, getting leap smash is a lot harder. And there you go. Monster takes about another bar of uh, uh, health. Uh, it does look like the monster is going to try and stay in the fight. It does get up the medic at the last second. Monster is going to probably peace out. Nope. Monster decides to stay. Uh, going after the straight after the medic. Medic again, just kind of floating up in the air. That's not bad either. But see, there you go. See that that when you're up in the air, the glide. Nope. And there's the rock throw. Uh, assault. I think tried to block it, but didn't look like it. Oh, and that harpoon. A lot of damage there. Um, but the medic just stayed on the ground, walking away. Didn't try using jetpack to get up to higher ground. Uh, you need to all, you be very, very careful of your surroundings. Uh, personal shield, I don't think is uh, available. Personal shield should have been popped a lot earlier, in my opinion. Because uh, he just he's going to get burned down. It does not block a ton of damage. And so it's pretty easy to drop a assault uh, when doing that. Uh, so half the monster's health. He's kind of a little overcommitting, in my opinion. Uh, I don't think that the support and the trapper are going to be killing him. But I do think that the damage they're going to take is going to be a little much... Well, uh, it doesn't seem like they're going to be doing much. That being said, I like that they're fighting near the other guy with the pistol. Because pistol damage is very, very significant. So GG, but a lot of misplaced uh, locations for the hunters. So we'll go ahead and debrief. God Ares, welcome to the herd. And a big shout out from God Ares to YouTube saying hello. G 
GG. Okay, so we're going to go back and then we'll debrief. Okay, so from the monster point of view, I really liked your feeding route. Uh, it was pretty efficient. You got... Hold on. Sorry. I have like an eyelash in my mouth or something. I don't know. Okay, uh, so yeah, I wanted to say you had a really good efficient uh, feeding route. You got your Evolve ready by about the 1 minute 40 mark. Uh, so really good job there. Uh, for the most part, in combat, you didn't really do anything super, super bad that I noticed. Um, I do feel that you kind of overcommitted um, uh, towards the end uh, when it was just the Trapper and Support left. Um, I feel like that if they were uh, better at dodging skills, you probably would not have been able to completely wipe them all out. Because uh, there was about 30 seconds left on the clock and there was two of them. Them. So if they both split up in opposite directions, you might have gotten one strike, uh, but then you would have been pretty pretty low on health, um, even though you were ready to evolve up, but then they, they would have been coming out of the dropship and the dome would be up pretty soon. Uh, so just be careful of that, but I, I think that's kind of a minor mistake at best. Uh, with regards to the hunters, um, I do feel that you probably could have used a scanner earlier on. Um, normally when you cut off, um, you were kind of going around in kind of a group. Uh, none of you were cutting really hard right or hard left. Uh, especially on distillery, the top of the building, uh, there's a location that really kind of secures the southwest quarter. Uh, and as long as you have some good pair of eyes over there, the monster can't ever go past them and escape there. So my first goal, unless the monster heads towards the caves at the start, is usually have a couple people head that direction. And then a couple other people kind of follow the tracks to kind of flush out the monster from behind uh, until the scanner picks up or reveals more information. Um, but but in combat, definitely, definitely the first combat, all of you were on the low ground, and that's how he was able to get that first strike against Val really, really, really easily. Uh, the best uh, places to position on, against Goliath is actually on the high ground. So whenever their dome throw gets thrown down, uh, like the second dome was absolutely great. You guys were all on the high ground. You waited for the monster to come to you. You set up. That's actually the best thing you can do because, remember, the hunters are not on the time the, the monster is. So if the monster doesn't engage, that he just wastes half the the half the, the match time and the pressure is on him even more um, but always just stay on the high ground uh, you can it's very hard to get leap smash while you have the high ground unless it's a big misplay um, it's uh, you'll get fire breath but you can out heal that you can kind of out heal a lot of the things and it makes it a lot easier to dodge rocks because the angle um, there's a blind spot further back on high grounds um, between you and the monster so just basically what if the monster comes after you you just jet pack over to the next one if you get knocked back down do your best to try Try and get back up as fast as possible. When you do jetpack up, try and do it at an angle so you're not just going straight up, you're kind of going up diagonally. Um, it doesn't change the speed on which you go up, but it does make it harder to kind of position on where you're going to be. And sometimes you might dodge an ability or two that way as well. So just remember, make sure you hold the high ground and go from one high ground to the other uh, as much as possible. Um, I did like that you did hold the dome when the monster first engaged Tech Sergeant Hank in the cave area, and then you threw it when he was escaping. Brilliant absolutely great. Uh, you should never throw the dome when the monster engages you uh, because one, if you do throw it at a bad time, he'll just get a free strike and then get out um, and, and then not even worry about it. But if you hold the dome, worst case scenario, he gets away and you catch up to him again, but then you don't have that. Yes, and not in a cave. Well, it doesn't matter. The, the caves and distillery are not super, super bad. Um, that, that dome location is not super terrible because there's a huge open area. But in general, yes, doming in caves is tends to be bad. Um, but they're a lot better now than they used to be just with the map designs. Um, but otherwise, overall, good job. Uh, but just remember, make sure you hold on to that high ground as much as possible against Goliath. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do the same.